when you look up at the sky, you'll most always find fluffy white clouds dotted across the blue sky. But if you take a look, you'll see that not every cloud is the same generic fluffy white cloud. You'll probably notice that along with the fluffy white clouds, there are also wispy clouds, dark clouds, clouds that look like blankets, even some that look like rows of popcorn. These clouds you see have names to go along with them. But first, before we learn about the different types of clouds, we must first learn about how clouds are formed. The first part in what makes a cloud is evaporation. Puddles and lakes dry up and water vapor rises far up into the sky. Then, the water vapor condenses into a cloud, where little water droplets are bumping into each other and merging. But because the droplets are really light and the air currents are really strong, the droplets don't actually fall down until they're heavy enough. And in some very high altitude clouds, the droplets actually freeze because of the low temperatures. Now, let's learn about the different types of clouds. Let's start from high altitude clouds and work our way down. The first cloud we'll be talking about is the cirrus cloud. Cirrus clouds are wispy hair-like clouds and are the most white type of cloud you'll ever see in the sky. They're also the very high up compared to most other clouds. Therefore, the water droplets are in fact frozen. The next type of cloud we'll be learning about are cirrostratus clouds. These clouds are shaped like thin white blankets and consist of ice crystals. As well as that, cirrostratus clouds are also usually located in very high altitude, just like cirrus clouds. These clouds are so thin that the sun and moon can sometimes shine through the clouds and make a halo around the sun or moon. These clouds also signify the coming of a warm front. The last high altitude cloud is going to be called the cirrocumulus cloud. Unlike other high altitude clouds, the cirrocumulus cloud actually has a little bit of water droplets in them and also look kind of like popcorn because they're made in clumps. Now, our first middle altitude cloud we're going to be talking about is Alto Stratus. It looks like a big sheet that is either bluish gray or gray. These clouds mostly have water droplets in them, and even though it's uncommon, they do sometimes rain. Now, we're going to be talking about Alto Cumulus. Just like its higher altitude cousin, it consists of patches or layers of ball-shaped clouds, but it's mostly water droplets. And these clouds are darker than Sierra Stratus and are mostly made up of water droplets. Yet, they don't actually rain. Our final mid-altitude cloud is Nimbo Stratus. This cloud is special, as it also is big enough to actually dip into the low-altitude clouds as well. This type of cloud is also has very heavy droplets, big enough to make a slight drizzle. They have an extremely dark color, and many people know it as a just a generic rain cloud. Finally, we're on to the low altitude clouds, where our first cloud will be the fluffy white generic cumulus cloud. This cloud is all water droplets and varies from white to dark gray. And now we're on to the last cloud on the lower altitude list. Strato cumulus. This cloud is the most common out of any other cloud and has a variety of shades from white to dark gray. The shape of these clouds are basically a bunch of cumulus clouds all bunched together. That wraps up all the clouds in the middle, high, and low altitude areas, except for one, Cumulonimbus, which is a gigantic storm cloud which is 5 kilometers tall and is the biggest cloud out of all of these. Cumulonimbus is a storm cloud shaped like a gigantic hourglass and is almost always darker at the bottom. That was all the types of clouds. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, press the like button down below, and subscribe as well. Goodbye!